All right, guys, I'm gonna install here. I'm by myself. This is what's getting out. Carrier, compressor is screwed up. Coleman is going in. All right, guys, let me show you what I use here. Start taking this apart, go inside, take the coil out. Just want to explain something for the newbies out there um, how this works. Essentially, it's a compressor. Um, the way to move uh, vapor and liquid is it pumps down, pumps in, so pushes in, and then brings it back liquid. She's just pumping like a compressor to move liquid and vapor. Pushes and then pulls. This is what we're dealing with inside, guys. It's a keep right they're using as a furnace. Compression fit in here. So, here's the exhaust. So, we'll remove this. Might just cut it and then put a coupling the eight coils in here. Gotta take out these S cleats. Or drive cleats and get her in. Measure up these, and they end up here, make some holes, make sure the drain fits. All right guys, I have to brace these two before I close this panel. It was a little challenging to get it in there after, but I managed. Um, I installed the filter dryer. Made this nice and straight. I'm gonna braze this up. The nitrogen is on outside, it's flowing. And yeah, we'll go from there. Braze this up. Join this together. I forgot the insulation. Almost. Let me go get the insulation. Braze the one up there first. I have a coupling up there. I'll braze that, slip the insulation on, do the rest. I'll be back. Last joint, I'm freezing up inside. I got the nitrogen outside. Be aware, I'm open outside.
right guys, she's under pressure, 150 PSI. Turned out pretty well, turned out pretty nice. I'm gonna do some electrical. And we'll go from there. All right guys, it's vacuum time. Hold in there. All right guys, that's how she turned out. Not too bad, can't complain. Alright guys, just put this on, see where the flexure is at, it's a flexure around 15 but my sub cool is kind of low, so we'll see, it's only 72, 75 degrees out here, It's this weather today is a little bogus, so I'm going to let it run, see what happens and, uh, and go from there, but another job complete. Looks good. She's purring. What's going on my fellow mechanical nerds? Okay, I recently did that AC change and I was wondering why that compressor failed. It wasn't the uh, typical short to ground windings or whatnot. So I got my curiosity, I wanted to open this up and see what was up. So I remember the early stages that we were hearing some rattling. And when I opened this up, I realized one of the mounts, the spring mounts, failed. And essentially this motor is like a car motor in a car. Uh, it's a floating motor, it sits on mounts engine mounts and it sits in the casing so it has one two three mounts one of them failed so I think Sino is sitting on an angle and it failed and I seen shaving windings uh, shaving sorry in the casing I'm thinking eventually it wasn't either getting enough oil to the top of the motor wasn't picking it up and coming back down or um, the shavings uh, somehow affected it or whatnot and then eventually seized. Now, the motor itself, um, like I mentioned, it picks up the oil from the bottom of the compressor, shoots it back up, cools off the motor, and then it has, you could say, accumulators and it um, grabs the gas, goes through the valves, compresses it, and comes back as a liquid and this is your liquid line and that's without going on in details that's what the compressor is doing this style compressor so um this is a tecumseh and yeah i think one of the springs failed and it led to um seizing up of the motor thanks for watching